Ahoy, me mate! Captain Klaus here, and welcome to me, Pirate Crew! Now swap the deck! I'm just kidding. <laughs> and also, you're just welcome back for more Let's Play Dante and the Pirate's Curse! Last time, we were essentially white tops pack mule as we got into the ghost forests. And we got the seven head that allowed us to get into the next dungeon. This episode? Well, that's where we're gonna be going. Let's do this. Welcome to Cackle Tower. This, I think I say, is one of my favorite kind of looking like locations. It's kind of got a lot of sort of creepy atmospheres. Got a little fog near the foreground. That's, it's, it's really cool. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, the, yeah, the background is so really cool, cool as well. Okay. Now, getting into it. Hey, now, getting into this. So. <laughs> now, as you may notice, uh, some of the uh, ceiling has been like. Cal has been coming down. Only if we. Easy, that's not okay, now, s some of these enemies aren't really all that big of a threat. I see these, uh, skulls and such. These small guys can actually do a little bit of charge, which is, is actually really easy to avoid. They're pretty small, so you have to kind of dodge the attack. These normal skeletons, however, yeah, they can actually do a little bit more than these smaller guys. Actually, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. They can toss their bones and, like, toss them in an arcs. But even these guys are just aren't all that bad to deal with. Just as long as, 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 long as they stay close, but not too close. You're actually just ripping down no problem. So we just go through here, and yeah, I don't really need another save point just so close to each other. Yeah, I don't know why there's another save man like so close. Not, oh well. All right, this thing. This thing looks like something from Uncle's workshop. It doesn't even appear to have power. Yeah. We can't do anything about that yet. Keyword yet. There are three generators six, six throughout here, so yeah, our main objective is pretty much find those three generators and either of them. Or Ooh, super pipe ball. That's really nice. That's awesome. Okay, in here. We have kind of like a little, another like mini little gauntlet room. We have some skeletons in your face here. As well as this jerk. This thing will just turn into a bat and just fly around the stage. This guy, uh, this thing can be kind of annoying. It can attack, but it can, it can turn its arm into a mace. But, you gotta be quick into it. Okay, you gotta be quick about attacking it, because otherwise, yeah, you're not gonna be able to do it. Not getting into it. If you try to attack him from behind, it'll just instantly warp. You have to wait until it's done attacking in order to be able to get into it. This thing's pretty annoying, to say the least. That done. Give us our key. Uh, I think we know how keys operate. Um, you don't need to keep telling us each time. Yeah, get, get used to me complaining about that man. Mm -hmm. I don't like that they did that. Like, hey, you got a key! Let me tell you exactly what it's for! <laughs> Yeah, it's it's kind of dumb. But well, whatever. Okay. Now something I kind of find odd about this thing up here is right here. Yeah, you gotta go into his mouth. And the fact that we're not being killed by it is kind of I don't know. That, that, that just stuck with me as odd. I mean, it's got really sharp teeth, doesn't it? You would think that John Tang would exactly be able to fight back and just kill her regardless, but mm, it doesn't seem like Is how we were just able to use that in the first place to travel? I don't know, that's, that's, that's something that definitely weirds me out. Whatever. I don't, I don't get it. Oh. Okay. 
Hey, yeah, those are spikes. Can't follow spikes. Did he just get sent back to the entry point of the area? Yeah, I was hoping I would actually show that. I'm uh, Just as soon as they say they're easy to deal with. Of course, they do that to me. Of freaking course. Press on her. Oh, something that's also kind of creepy at the same time. I find this cool. Yeah, it's got a lot of skulls in the background in this area. It is a pretty cool little detail, I gotta say. Let's do it here. Get the map to this place. Okay. Bitch, check the map. Yeah! We got, we got all of that we gotta go through. So, yeah, we got a lot of climbing to do. Oh well. The music here is really nice. That's something. Right? Here, take out you guys. You don't need to, I just want the gems because I'm greedy like that. Okay. This area here. This is perhaps a shortish secret. You can actually attack this in an area. So it's in it can yourself a heart squid. I say it's kinda of jerkish because seriously, who would think to lurk uh, to look there? In order to just get just be able to obtain that heart squid in the first place. Ugh. Oh well, let's see. I find it really dumb, but oh well, what can you do? Alright, this uh, this area here. Yeah, we gotta shoot those. I just easily fell there. Are you kidding? Me? <laughs> yeah, this is why for the most part I don't exactly do platformers. Just, just, just getting that out. Okay, now we got these door doors open, we can actually go around here and use these, these sword minutes to get around and hit this switch to that allows us to go forward. So let's just do that. I'm gonna go ahead and smash this pot right here and get our money's worth. Let's hey, seriously. I can actually understand pottery only money, but how does a candle hold money? That's something that I don't get. Okay, see one of those generators that are down there that we need to like, activate. But Oh my god, this locked door! We can't get to it yet! Yes, we kinda have to go. Um, we need to go down here further, actually. I don't know why I was heading back up. Uh, oh, yeah. Got another save, um, right here. But I'm just gonna ignore you, so it's quite sure if I do that. This place is actually kinda generous with the save points. I think in my opinion, a little overly generous, generous, but oh well. Look at this guy! The potted weed! He just sits there and... dies. That's... that's great. Or an enemy that just sits there and dies. Actually, no, not quite. He, he is capable of rejecting if I recall correctly. Oh well. A helpless enemy is the best kind of enemy. Because it's not typically an enemy, you're just killing it for no reason, no, not really. Alright. And now we're here. Yar, me matey! We get an awesome pie attack! Yeah. Using Risky's hat. We can actually glide to areas we couldn't get to with a standard jump. That's really cool. It's like we can get to like new areas that we couldn't get to before. You know, we just need to high to a new area. I have to do that now. 
Plus, it looks absolutely fabulous. At least I think so anyway. I don't care what anybody says. Seriously, if, if I can rip. Higher and kind of knock the text for it. I'd do that. <laughs> that scares us though. Like, where am I going? We need to, we need to be heading over here. Because... One of these generators! Yes, just whip it and... Yeah, that's how you activate it. Whip it with your hair. Yeah, I just... Okay, I kind of get that Shantae's hair isn't exactly, um... What we would call it standard normal hair, but... It doesn't make a lot of sense for, you know, just ripping something with your hair and activating a switch. Oh well, it's a, it's a video game. There's no point in trying to make sense of a video game. If you drop down here though, Heart Squid! For the win! Haha! <laughs> awesome sauce! But that, yeah, that's all I wanted to go down there for. Plus, it's a quick way to get up here. We don't need those silly platforms. <laughs> I don't claim to be a speedrunner in any way. Okay, here's yet another heart squid. This crawl underneath her. There you go. Now we. We might be able to get all the hard sprints here now. Actually, no. There's that one hard sprint we can't get right now. Never mind. Now, find the key, find the key, find the beautiful key! <laughs> it's been a while since I said that, actually. That <laughs> mean. I want to go there. That's kind of dumb of me. That's a dumb dumb. Oh, I'm saying that actually. Really about now. There, there. Hey, awesome. There's two of the three generators activated. Just gonna drop all the way down here to the bottom. Cause we're not our third generator is actually down here. All right. There's a pretty good reason I see this area for last. Oh, you're gonna play as officially. Uh, play this place officially. You kind of have to say this area for last. Why? Because we need the power attack just to be able to go through here. Yeah, it would kind of suck if you go down here and. Yeah, I wouldn't necessarily say suck. You'd just be wasting your time if you go down here and realize that gap is just too wide for you to cross the normal jump. And okay, I think I found an alternate way to get through there. Unintentionally, but whatever works, I guess. <laughs> I just jumped. Actually, no, that, that wouldn't work for the center jump, I'm not my same. Alright, now we got all the, um, dinner is activated. The bit, and there you go. Let's use the captain's hat. Or, Rissy's hat, rather. Where's Rissy's hat? Where's Rissy's hat? Our hat now. And let it just lift us high up in the air. Catch the current. Right like a limousine. Wait, what? Wait, I've always been here. What am I doing? Yeah, I've, I've kind of been sucky about, um... <laughs> I can <laughs> tell. <coughs> Holy crap, I'm using my voice a lot. <coughs> yeah, I'm gonna... After this, I better... 
Give it a break. <coughs> Come here. Thank you. Holy keys, my life or this dude. I guess that's kind of what happens like when you use your voice extensively too hard. Like. That kind of stuff would happen. Okay, I typically like to use my moss mode to get through this area. Cause these guys are just- Cause these guys are just so fucking annoying, I hate this guy so much. Come on. Die! I said die! <coughs> <coughs> there you go. Crap, too many bats here. So I'm gonna just put these guys down. Come on. There we go. No problem. Oh. <coughs> Gotta like this. Take. <coughs> No problem, Emily. Good. Oh, there we go. Potion. Actually, technically, I should be using my beat complex. So I've kind of took care of my potions in case I truly need them for something. Alright, that's be our last key, actually. We got last key that we need to go through this area. I, I felt that was necessary to be out. I don't know. Before I dig myself a deep, deeper hole in, in this realm of ignoring this, this is tough. Here and at. Uh, yeah, that's kind of an example of getting hit and getting knocked back. And me not showing that skill recovery! Yay! Next, to kind of prove it, because like presenting evidence, I do have the reco I do have the recovery um skill. See, that's just a habit of present of presenting evidence. No man. Alright. Yeah, a save man here. You can probably guess what's up ahead. Yep, the second den of evil! Evil! Let's just stick on the evil then. For a spider! Get that green wire hole. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Dealing with the um, Empress Spider. We'll almost wait you gotta wait till he's until he's down here before he gets me able to be able to I oddly is her weakness or her entire living thought. Oh, that kinda makes that makes sense. I don't know. But he does have this attack where he just kills spawn like Eggs. Don't have to mix more spiders. One attack will just easily get rid of them. But he also has an attack that will spawn uh, four. You gotta use Risky's hat to be able to dodge, which I did a terrible job at. You wanna take up these eggs before they can hatch if. Well, kind of making a tad easier on you, even though you can like, take up the spiders, no problem. Well, pretty much anyway. I just like taking all these eggs before they have a chance to hatch. Alright. Now, after a certain point, our attack partner will be a little bit different and she'll get faster. As long as you can actually just move fast enough where you can avoid our attacks. Not too big a deal. I gotta use up my, um, meat cutlass before anything else. 
Nice. Fire. Eggs here, because I know that they you off. Wow, I'm such a troll. A, a jerkish troll. Yeah, just doing something just for the sake of pissing someone off. Yeah, I'm such a nice person. I can't even tell anymore. Okay. So I think we need to I think it's Zeus. Bring the fire. As a result. I'm going to be pretty close to the right now. Man, I could have used one of my monster modes just to um, make this process go, go a little faster, but I wanted to actually. Yeah, I actually wanted to defeat the boss without having to use a monster mill. Actually, no, screw it. I'll just go ahead and use one anyway. Because I want to speed up the process of fighting here. Okay. As if I can actually land my attack. We're gonna be here a while, aren't we? There we go! Of course I used a monster milk when it had very little HP left, of course. Go me, I just wasted my only monster milk. Doesn't matter, cause we won. Huzzah! Tinker bats. Hey! Get back here, you! <laughs> and again. We so this is gonna map. Alright, this takes us to Tan Line Island. 